L'Hopital's rule is a way that we can evaluate limits using derivatives. So limits that we otherwise could not have done before, we can now do, now that we have an understanding of what the derivative actually is. L'Hopital's rule says that if the limit as x approaches some number of f over g is either 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity, then the limit as x approaches c of f over g is equal to the limit as x approaches c of f prime over g prime. Basically all this says is if you take a limit and on top and bottom you have like 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, it can't be 0 over infinity, it has to be the same thing both on top and on the bottom. That's one of our restrictions here. So 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, just take the derivative and try to take the limit again. And keep doing this as many times as you need to. As an example, let's take a look at this. This is the very first limit that we saw. And when we looked at it, we had to realize that there is no way that we can actually do this using the three tiers of limits. We have to use it using uh, L'Hopital. If you plug in zero, sine of zero is zero over zero. So we have zero over zero. That means that we can use L'Hopital's rule. And L'Hopital's rule says that all we have to do is take the derivative of the top and the bottom independently. We don't have to use quotient rule. So the derivative of the top, the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x, and the derivative of x is just one. If you plug zero in at this point, cosine of zero is one. And that's how you actually do this one by hand. Let's take the limit as t approaches 1 of 5t to the 4th minus 4t squared minus 1 over 10 minus 9t minus t cubed. If you plug 1 in, you get 5 minus 4 minus 1 is 0 over 10 minus 9 minus 1 is still 0. So let's take the derivative right now. We get the limit as t approaches 1 of 20t cubed minus 8t over the derivative of 10 is 0. We have negative 9 minus 3t squared. Now if we plug in 1 at this point, we have 20 minus 8 is 12 over negative 9 minus 3 is negative 12. This is equal to negative 1. And so we were able to take the limit Without having to do algebra gymnastics or anything like that or factoring, we just did it by taking the derivative of both the top and the bottom. Thank you, L'Hopital. Let's do another one. Here's the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the x over x squared. Now, when we first learned this, we said that e to the x approaches infinity much, much more rapidly than x squared does. And so our numerator is blowing up massively, much faster than x squared. And so this whole thing goes to infinity. But now using L'Hopital, we can see why. e to the infinity is infinity. Infinity squared is still infinity. Here we have infinity over infinity. We can use L'Hopital. So this is the limit as x approaches infinity. The derivative of e to the x is still just e to the x over the derivative of x squared is 2x. All right? Well, if we plug in infinity now, we still have infinity over infinity. Let's do it again. Here we have the limit as x approaches infinity. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x over 2. If you plug in infinity, we now have e to the infinity over 2. That's just infinity. And last but not least, let's take the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side of x times the natural log of x. 
You might be saying, but wait a minute, how can you use L'Hopital for this? Well, let's do a trick. Let's rewrite this as the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side of the natural log of x over, I'm going to rewrite x as 1 over x. Well, the natural log of 0 from the positive side goes down to negative infinity. And 1 over x from the positive side also goes down to negative infinity. So here we have negative infinity over negative infinity. We can use L'Hopital. So we can take the derivative of the top and the bottom independently. The derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. And the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. Now when we divide fractions, we flip and multiply. So here we have the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side of 1 over x times negative x squared. This is the same thing as the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side. Negative x squared over x is just negative x. And if you were to plug 0 into negative x, you get 0. And so this is the answer, zero.